Okay, let's talk about the weather. A uh, today wasn't bad, but tomorrow sounds bad. Uh, tomorrow's not going to be nice. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get the rain moving in. The rain's going to be on the heavier side at times, and it's just going to be a real, real, real soggy end to the week. Uh, after starting off spring with some sunshine, uh, now it's time to transition to more of the wet part of spring, and that's the rain, and even potentially some rumbles of thunder. So some spring storms trying to roll in with this as well. And right now, the closest rain we have is between Cambridge and Parkersburg. Some very light sprinkles there. A bigger batch of it from Cleveland back to Toledo, back to Fort Wayne, Indiana, and to Lima, Ohio, down to Columbus. That's going to inch towards us, but it's going to take a little time to get here. So we have a couple more hours. The clouds are going to be around. It's going to be on the breezy to a little gusty side, but I think the next couple hours are going to be fairly quiet otherwise until this rain comes into play and then it's raindrops. You get to go to sleep tonight with the sound of rain outside your window and that's going to continue through the night. You get to wake up tomorrow with rain outside your window. Uh, some of that rain on the heavier side. Tomorrow at lunch you get rain outside your window. This is a theme and this theme is that it is going to be soggy all the way through tomorrow into Friday as well. We're going to see that rain start to situate itself a little further south of town. So you're going to notice this rain starts to get more focused uh, down around I-70 and southward. Now this is just one model projection of this. Keep in mind some of these showers are going to get up into the city, possibly even up into Butler. So while we're going to see scattered showers, or more spotty natured showers north of Pittsburgh is going to be very wet uh, come Friday south of I-70. As you can see, this rain sort of uh, stays down that way, especially on the uh, PA border with West Virginia until Saturday morning when that starts to come back up to the north. And then we see that rain overtake the area for Saturday as well. Today we got up to 56. Normal is 51, so we were five degrees above average. We even started the day off eight degrees above average, so it was a warmer type day by at least a few degrees and it's just been gray. The, that's the worst thing we have going on. So currently cloudy skies 52 gusts almost to 25 miles per hour. So it is a bit gusty and you can see how our temperatures around the region are generally situated in these low to mid 50s still. So evening wise, the temperatures are not going to be too bad. We're only going to lose a few more degrees between now and tomorrow morning when we get down to 47. The rain showers turn on. It will be on the breezy side with those gusts to 20, 25 miles per hour. Come tomorrow, those gusts get up to 35 miles per hour and we're going to bump those temperatures up to the mid 60s. The rain is going to be with us on and off through the day. At times, the rain is going to be heavier and we will even see a few thunderstorms try to rumble through the region. So there will be a couple of those around as well. Uh, going through the day, at any point, you're going to need the umbrella. Temperatures topping off in those low to mid 60s between 2 and 5 p.m. That's also the time where we have that better chance to see uh, a little lightning or hear a little thunder trying to develop as well. 50 for Friday. Rain showers scattered around. More rain scattered on Saturday. Sunday, Monday looks to be a little break in the activity, but look what happens Tuesday. Temperatures come down enough below average where we get 45 degrees for a high, lows in the 30s, and that means we could be looking at some rain and snow.